Hey, what's up? It is DJ. Today, we've got our first set of fact sheets for Farming Simulator 25. Included are four machines and two pieces of equipment. There's also some mystery crops, which we'll be talking about as well. If you haven't pre-ordered Farm Sub 25 yet, check the link in the description for the base game as well as the year one bundle. So let's rock and roll. We start with the Valtra S-Series, which was shown off in the Gamescom gameplay last week. Of course, this will be found in tractors. My guess is large tractors. It's going to cost you 254500 bucks for the base model. Model, has between 280 and 420 horsepower with a variable transmission, 610 liters of fuel, goes 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour, but to be honest, it's going to say 32 in the game again, and it weighs 11.9 tons. Even though I'm zooming in a lot, I think the tractor looks really good, and I love that gold bronze color. I also like how we can kind of see through the gridding on the front as well. Gonna see that engine on the inside. Looks good, man. Also, since it took a while to get Valtra and Farm Sim 22, uh, I am very happy that it's coming with the base game in Farm Sim 25. The next fact sheet is of the Brantner TR-340902 PT+. Plus. There's gotta be a better way to say that. Uh, and so it can be found a trailer, 65,500 bucks. It would hold between 30,000 and 46,000 liters, and it weighs 11.2 tons. This is another trailer that we've seen in the videos that we've gotten, so you've seen this before. And one interesting thing is it shows all of the crops here, so let's see if I can get all of these correct. From the top left all the way to the right, we have wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, sunflowers, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, then red beets, carrots, and parsnips. Then I believe we have rice and then long grain rice, or maybe those are flipped. And then two uh, mystery crops, as well as spinach. We know that spinach for a fact. And then we've got sugar cane and wood chips. Along the bottom, I believe we have cut sugar beets, silage, grass, hay, straw, and then mineral feed. I, I don't know if that's TMR or maybe that's forage, then pig food, uh, snow, olives, grapes are missing here, but as I've been told, grapes are not in the base trailers of Farm Sim 22 either. I think I had a mod installed that let me do it. Uh, we also have manure and then solid fertilizer, salt, TMR, or maybe that's for it, I'm not quite sure. Uh, then we have iron ore or stones, lime, seeds, and chaff. Now the big thing here is going to be those mystery items. Now there has been a video that was shown off from Gamescom was released by LS News on Facebook, showing off peas. I have not seen peas myself personally yet, and it had to be translated, so I'm not quite sure 100% for me, which is why I haven't made a video on it. However, here there's not one, but two different kinds of things, crops missing. So we've got two more at least coming. Moving on, we have the Iseki TJW Tractor. We get to see this bad boy, and it's good to see Iseki in the game. Or Izegi, I'm not quite sure how you say that. Uh, it's a tractor, probably going to be found in small tractors. 92 grand, 123 horsepower with a power shift transmission, 190 liters of fuel, 30 kilometers or 18 miles per hour, which is a little bit different, and 4.6 tons. The tractor looks pretty good. And you could definitely tell that the paint is much different than we've seen in previous farming simulator games. It's also nice to see some shadows inside the cabin, which you can't really tell, but you can kind of see if you zoom in. However, unfortunately, that's as far as I can zoom in. Thirdly, we have the FarmTech EDK 650. We found a trailer, $6,000. We'll get it for you between four and 8,000 liter capacity and it weighs 1.2 tons. FarmTech trailers hold a special place in my heart, so I'm really excited to see FarmTech coming back to the Farming Simulator franchise. It's a good look at trailer, and I believe the one shown here is the 8,000 liter capacity, and then you kind of take off the top portion, and then it becomes 4,000. Again, here we get to see all of the crops that will fit inside that trailer. Again, grapes are missing, and we have two mystery items. Our fifth fact sheet takes up the whole page. This big old square here, so hopefully you're cool with that. This is the Merlot MF 44.9 CS 170 CV Tronic. Man, oh man. Now this was announced uh, last week, so we got to see this already. Already made a video on this, so hey, we're good to go there. However, the things we were not so sure about were the specs. You know, was it gonna be close to real life or exactly the same? What was gonna be different? Well, we've got that, of course, it could be found in telehandlers. $149,500, making it one of the most expensive telehandlers we've ever seen. 170 horsepower is on this. I was about to say required, but it has it. CVT transmission, 140 liters of fuel, goes 24 miles an hour, 40 kilometers per hour, and it weighs 9.5 tons. So far, we've not seen any Merlot attachments or anything like that. We know that this will have a three-point hitch on the back, or 
you can set it up to have one at the very least and it's got a three system boomer three part boom on the front of it meaning that this is going to boom out super duper far maybe even farther than the claw scorpion but we'll have to wait and see about that it's a beautiful machine i love merlot to death and this is definitely welcome with open arms into the farming simulator franchise and lastly we get to see the oxbow mkb 4tr now, if you thought that this wasn't going to be in the first set of fact sheets you are crazy this is our spinach harvester it's going to be expensive though six hundred at thirty five thousand dollars oi spinach better be worth it 400 horsepower in there expected it to have more i don't know why it's got a variable transmission or cvt 950 liters of fuel there's 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour holds 35,000 liters so that's pretty good it weighs 26.7 tons it will harvest at six miles an hour or 10 kilometers per hour so pretty much like everything else that we've seen and it holds spinach and that little sign down there the spinach sign that is how we know spinach is spinach or at least what the new crop is taking a look at the machine itself it is certainly unique with four sets of tracks then we have a blower almost a big fan on the front of it kind of i guess blowing the bugs off or something like that and then a huge hopper in the back which overloads just like a sugarcane harvester does well at least the sugarcane trailers this kind of gives us a lot of different things we have a new style of machine a new crop a new way to harvest and uh, four independent tracks which are all flat which looks super cool i also want to say that it's really cool that farming simulator is kind of branching out i know spinach may not be exciting to a lot of you guys out there um, but spinach is one of the biggest crops in the world it's also an amazing machine that we get to use to do spinach so hey i'm all for it now along with all of the fact sheets that we got today we also got some accompanying screenshots so this one's of that valtra s series and the brantner tr3409 2 pt plus it's the power tube man just say that out loud here we get to see it driving in front of some silos and the silos actually look kind of worn down and rusty that's pretty cool speaking of the machine's not clean at all this machine is dirty and so are the wheels on the trailer in the back that is not something that we get to see that often usually in these screenshots they want to show stuff off nice bright and clean and everything's perfect and here it's not and i like it more definitely a cool shot and it's really neat to see valtra in a usa environment as well ah it's so cool next up we've got that iseki tjw along with the farmtech edk 650 in the back again here not quite clean they're not perfect but they're out driving and running off and also i noticed in the last screenshot we had a new character design as well as some new clothing and we could see the same thing here this guy's dressed up a little bit more he's got some nice khaki pants with a brown belt and a really cool shirt it's got like textures all over and little pictures oh i hope those are little tractors i'm also noticing that with this environment it is going to be fall i believe looking at the trees some of the trees are dying but not all in the same way some of the trees are more brown than the other ones like the one right behind the tractors slightly amber colored with some green still in there where some of the trees on the right hand side are are, are brown with green in them and on the left hand side just brown but the grass is also changing some of it's kind of dying a little bit this is pretty darn cool man i am digging this setup next up is our merlot this is the mf or the uh i believe the multi farmer 44.9 cs it's pulling a punger something now i think that's a weeder but i'm not quite sure uh, we were talking about grass in the last one now this is obviously spring or the middle of summer something like that the grass is still not perfect but it also doesn't look like grass that i've seen in other screenshots this one's a little bit of brown in it but it's still quite green very cool also new character with new things showing off there and uh, off in the distance maybe in the left side we can see a american styled house with some barns and silos behind them and some power lines not a whole lot of clouds in the sky right now and as we move our way to the right hand side again we can see just a couple grass fields i believe and some trees off in the distance as for the machine itself again here we are not completely clean it's not a perfect machine down on the field doing work and it's very very cool and in its current state right now it's actually being used as a tractor and not so much as a telehandler oh, i'm so excited i'm gonna have like 10 of these and that's gonna be my farm lastly we've got that oxbow mkb 40 our spinach harvester and actually these are like really really big squared off screenshots that they gave us so i'm having to zoom in a little bit so we'll kind of like 
make our way up the machine as we talk about it. Here we can see it bringing the spinach in. Again, I'm not quite sure what that bit on the front's doing, but it's lower than it was. So there's that at the very least. Then we've got what looks to be a combine reel on the front of it from a combine harvester, but it's not. I know that it's not, but it's just aiding getting everything fed into the machine itself. Then everything's going up right under the cabin, right under our player speed, which I do believe that that is a returning outfit from Farming Simulator 22, which I'm totally cool with. It's also, we get to see the left-hand side of the machine here instead of the right, which is a bit of a rarity. We've been seeing a lot from the right-hand side. This is also the side that it uh, overloads from, I believe. So that is pretty cool. Moving on up a little bit more. And again, the machine is dirty. I really want to hand it to Giants for this one. Uh, normally they show the machines in perfect, pristine condition. And these are not. They're a little bit dirty. But it shows that things are in the field getting dirty. It's also kind of nice to see how dirt is going to be accumulating on some of these pieces of equipment. Two thumbs up, man. Big thumbs up there. Uh, looks like otherwise we just have spinach on the left-hand side at the bottom. We can see the spinach that's been harvested. On the right-hand side, we can see spinach that's not harvested yet. And in the middle, spinach that is being harvested. And trees in the back. But that's about it. There's also a new blog today accompanying the fact sheets, which mentions that we'll be getting fact sheets every Friday until the game launches, which is super exciting. However, it also says that not all machines will be announced through the fact sheets, which is why I'll be showcasing different pieces of equipment as they're announced on their website, so stay tuned for that. And that's it. Hey, is there anything you think that I missed? Was there anything you wanted to see more of or learn more about? Hey, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget Farming Simulator 25 will be available on Tuesday, November 12th, 2024. It's gonna be on PC, Mac, Xbox Series and PS5. If you have not pre-ordered yet, now is a great time to do that. You can check the link in the description, which will take you to the pre-orders for the base game, as well as the year one bundle. If you've got any questions at all, please let me know. And check out the other videos on screen right now for more Farming Simulator 25 coverage. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.